Here are my top eight foods you think you should be eating, but you should actually be avoiding at all costs. They're food fakers, imposters. So be careful, it's a scary world out there. First up, granola. Yeah, it looks all good for you and healthy with all the fruit and the nuts. Faker! Granola typically has lots of sugar and fat, but even worse, you're eating too much of it at a time. If you can't live without it, instead of eating it by the bowlful, top off your morning yogurt or your froyo with a small handful of granola. Next up, smoothies. They're so fruity and refreshing. They have to be healthy, right? Wrong. They're loaded with sugary syrups and high-fat milk. The average fruit smoothie has about 400 calories. That's about the same amount of calories as an order of medium fries, just so you know. Instead, make them at home with unsweetened almond milk, fresh or frozen fruit, and your sweetener of choice. Now, on to kale chips. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kale, it's a vegetable. It's a nutritional powerhouse. It can't be a food faker. Yes, it can. Store-bought kale chips are oily, and they're high in fat and calories. Now, there are around 150 calories and 9 grams of fat in one ounce of your average bag kale chips. Holy cow, those are potato chip stats. Don't worry, you can make your own. Trust me, they're super easy and delicious. Press pause to jot down the recipe. Next up, restaurant salads. Now, it's probably not the salad that's the problem. It's what's on top of it. Toppings like cheese, fried noodles, dried fruits, candied nuts, they all add huge amount of calories and fat to your salad. And that dressing? Forget about it. Here are some helpful tips for the next time you want to order a healthy salad. Special order, load up on all the veggies. Add extra protein if you want to, and then get the lightest dressing possible on the side. And dip, don't pour. Now, on to dried fruit. Let's face it, you can't just eat a handful with the fruit all shriveled and sugary. It's so easy to just keep eating and eating and eating and eating. Here's a tip. Eat real whole fruit instead. More satisfying for the calories for sure. Or try an HG favorite, freeze-dried fruit. It's fruit that's been zapped of its moisture. Have you seen it? You can find it down your cereal, snack, or produce aisles. Sometimes it's even in the baby food aisle. So take a peek there too. Okay, now, about those wraps you've been eating. People think tortillas are light in calories and a great alternative to sub sandwiches, but look at the size of those things. They're huge. Translation, too many calories. And remember, the bigger the tortilla, the more stuff it takes to fill it. Yikes, ditch that crazy tortilla. And when you're out, have your sandwiches wrapped in lettuce. And when you have time, make sandwiches and wraps at home. You can use high fiber tortillas, and Hungry Girl Flat Out Fold It's are great too. Now let's talk about what you're drinking. You're thirsty, so you grab some flavored water, which you think is good for you because, well, it's water. Bad move. Many flavored waters are packed with sugar. Just turn that bottle around and look at the calories. Whoa, Psst. if it's really water, it's calorie free. Instead, look for flat or sparkling waters that have a hint of unsweetened flavor. Now, onto those foods with labels that brag. You've seen them at the store. Their packaging screams fancy buzzwords like non-dairy, all-natural, organic, gluten-free. Fancy buzzwords or not, check the nutrition panels for stats so you can choose the right foods. Well, those are my top eight foods you think you should be eating, but you should actually be avoiding at all costs. Till next time, chew the right thing.